fan base yes. online. Yes. Um, was there any what surprised you about the fan response? Is there anything people took differently than you thought they would? Uh, I think that I was surprised that people actually got into the love triangle between Adam and Jeremy and Rachel as much as they did. Um, I was. Uh, I think that because for us, like uh, we were so invested in her relationship with Quinn and the other things that, so people are really taking sides. Like we have Freddie. Freddie, Team Freddie, and you know, Team Josh. <laughs> I, was, I think I was surprised at how rapid that was. You know, in your, some of your other shows. I am still the biggest Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan girl. So I have to ask, who is the bigger badass, Rachel or Buffy? Oh God. I mean, I gotta say Buffy. She saves the world all the time. Rachel's, Rachel's a badass, but she's also just bad. <laughs> <laughs> and Buffy, you know, despite all of the conflicts, you know, she saved us from multiple apocalypse or apocalypse. Or <laughs> was it more was it more fun to write a badass or someone who's bad? Well, I got to do both on Buffy. I mean, I got to write Spike and Priscilla and you know, Bad Angel, and I got to do the full spectrum. Um, the real difference is that we don't have the extra layer of the genre stuff here. So there's something um, very satisfying about creating as much juice and excitement, uh -huh. but without vampires. You know, there, yeah. there might be vampires in Dixie, but it could be everlasting vampires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> Um, the show feels most authentic to you, whether wow. it's like emotions, characters. You know, in some ways, I feel like the relationship between Rachel and Quinn feels very authentic to me. That sort of workplace uh, connection you have to a mentor or to someone that you admire, where it's really lovely, and you feel manipulated and you resent them and you want to get away from them, but on some level, you really miss each other. You need their validation. You need their validation. You kind of live for it, and it's very hard to tear yourself away. And once you find you, you're like, what was that all about? You know, but you grow up a lot through so those experiences, and I just think that feels to both Sarah and I like something we can relate to. We will write a passage, um, and also just yeah, the, the, the twisted mom stuff. Like, I relate to. <laughs> you got it. Thank you so much. Here, thank you.